Good morning, everyone. 19 minutes to 11 o'clock here. I'm Barry Beer. Thank you for joining us here at St. Ives Community Access Service today. And it is a beautiful day out here. If I can get my offside to zoom in on this. Well, today's program is about daylight saving and how the days are getting longer. Well, you probably know by now that the days are going to start getting longer and daylight saving commences in a month's time. So, so instead of it being 20 to 11, it will be 20 to midday. So don't forget to switch your clock all of one hour before you go to bed on Saturday, October the 6th. So daylight saving is when we switch the clock from standard time to spring daylight saving summertime and in this case we get longer days and shorter nights so so that means we can get fish and chips and take it down to the beach and eat it in the warm evening sunshine so so Here's my offsider. Good morning. What do you think about daylight saving? I think I love it. I love to, um, you know, to be able to go around at 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and the sun is still up. So it feels like summer finally. Do you agree? I do. Yeah, it's a bit pleasant to just go around and, you know, if, if it's still sunny at 7 p.m. so you can have dinner um, and it's, there's still light outside, I love it. So now let's take you around, around the, guard, the garden area, come on. Well... This is outside the back of the hall where we do the drama or performing arts on Thursday morning. And this is the barbecue area. So, so, in there is the, the movement, the movement at the moment, and this afternoon, We'll be hearing from Mitch. He's the guy that plays the guitar and all the awesome songs. So, let's take you around the garden. Let's take you to the garden and we'll show you some of the veggies we have here and the herbs. This is the little veggie patch that we have here. Uh, and, and if I can get my offside and zoom in and explain to the viewers what is growing in here. All right, so we have spinach. We have some chives. We have some mint, sage, we have some thyme, lemon, we have chili, and I believe the little one growing there, it's parsley. So that's a good selection of herbs here that, you know, the cooking class can use too during the, the activities. 
Yeah, so we have another garden full of veggies here as well. So let's take you and show you those. Well, here we have a, another selection of herbs and, and spices and other plants. I'm just let my outside and zoom in so you viewers can have a look. And here she is to explain what's in this garden. So we do have some decoration, decorational plants here and some flowers rather than herbs. Um, but in the back, we also have rosemary, I believe parsley or maybe some salad or maybe coriander. We have some aloe here, aloe vera, some more flowers and little flowers, yeah. So, there is the sum of the, the, the veggies that we, and flowers that we have here. So, so, so let's take you around now. Hopefully this is giving you an insight of what happens here in the garden of Sinai's cash? Now, before we do go back into the, the studio for our break, um, I'd like to uh, ask everyone to please take it easy on the roads, whether it is a lovely day a wet day, there's no need to see. And here's my offside and now to explain about taking it easy on the road. Yeah, so always respect the speed limits. Um, always be very alert. Don't drink and drive. And if you are tired, make sure you stop for a break or for a coffee. It will save lives. And coming up after the break, I have um, a, a topic about looking after our feet. Now, you may recall two weeks ago, I brought a store a subject up on that. So we'll bring you an update on that. And a bit more of the, about daylight saving. Good. This is the front door of St. Times Community Access Service where we go in. So if I can just get my offside and zoom in on the, the door here. And also the car park that the bus is parking. So let's go back into the studio and take a have a cup of tea, and then we'll get into the second part of our show. <laughs> 